Hi, and welcome to week number 72, um, Living with Alzheimer's. And uh, here we are again. Uh, yeah, if you hear some noise at the moment, um, for some reason I've got two cats that are running from one room to another for no reason at all, just running in the middle of the room, sitting there, doing nothing, and then running off again, as they do. So it's, uh, yeah, there's a, a bit of noise, but anyway, we'll, we'll let that go, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's fun, anyway. Um, first of all, thank you for all my birthday wishes um, last week, this week, uh, whenever my birthday was, I can't remember. Oh. But anyway, it was, it, was, it was great. I didn't realise that uh, I knew so many people, so thank you, uh, thank you very much. Uh, this week I want to talk a little bit about memories, old memories. Um, my Alzheimer's, my dementia has uh, affected my short-term memory quite a lot and I don't think that part of it is, is getting any better actually, I, I know it's not. And I forget short-term stuff very, very quickly. It's a job for me to remember people's names and faces and it takes me a long while to, to remember somebody. People from a long while ago, I can remember, but um, new acquaintances are, are very, very difficult. Uh, I mean, here we are this morning, I've had breakfast, I have no idea what I had for breakfast and it wasn't that long ago. Um, I don't know what the weather was yesterday, I don't really know what I did yesterday, and it all becomes a bit of a blur. I suppose it's really as though, as things progress, somebody is rubbing this bit out as, as it goes along and it's only this bit, the here and now, that I seem to remember. Some things I remember, some things do stick in my mind, some poignant things for whatever reason. But one thing I do remember is many years ago, and to give you a little bit of example of that, um, my grandmother and grandfather's house, number one Mount Pleasant in Framlingham. I remember that as though it was yesterday. I can walk in their house, I can open the front door and see grandfather's all his boots lined up at the bottom of the stairs on the right hand side, his coat's on the left, um, and go through to the kitchen, um, quite a small kitchen, with an open fire and a teapot, with the steam coming out and then coming out of the spout and going up and round and up the chimney. It used to fascinate us as, as young boys. My grandfather had a big wireless which he had on a, on a sideboard there and he used to listen religiously to all the important things that were happening in the world. I can remember their living room. I can even tell you every ornament that was on their mantelpiece. They had this, this great table, I think it was mahogany, and you wound a handle on the side and the table opened up and another leaf come up from the bottom. Um, so instead of sitting four, you could sit six or eight around the table. That was a highlight of, of Sunday, was winding this handle and, and watching this table unfold to a bigger thing. All of those things I can remember. I remember the big velvet curtains that they had behind the doors on great big rails that opened with the door to stop the draughts. Um, and it was, a, it was a lovely, lovely old place. Wonderful memories. It is something that I can remember, like I say, just like it was yesterday. I can picture it in my head. And I suppose, you know, talking to people with dementia, it's, it's difficult to talk about the here and now and the stuff that's going on, the, 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 the politics and the things that happened yesterday, and, and because it just fades away. But talking about those memories, not always as far back as that, but memories that are a little way back are so vivid and so good. And I suppose really that's something that, that I can talk about all day. Um, and I'm not going to say the good old days because I'm not that old, but to me they were the good old days. To me they were memories that are very etched and ingrained into my mind. Um, whereas memories now go very, very quickly. Um, as you probably know, things like signing my name and reading, writing, all of these elements have gone. But those older memories are still there. And I suppose that's just something today that, that I wanted to share with you um, about those memories and talking about memories gone past. And uh, yeah, it's just something that 
that I find good because it's something that I can recall. So there we go. Well, as always, you know, have a good week. Actually, I'll just say this. I've, I've done this video on a Monday today because, again, this coming week, I'm going to be so busy on stuff and I just wouldn't get a chance to do it. And I think that today is is a day where I feel as though I can do the video. I'm going to be pretty shattered during the week. So we're away again all week, but um, the video will go up as normal. And really, it's, it's just to say, as always, you know, have a great weekend. Have a wonderful week. And I'll endeavour to be here again next Friday. Oh, and this will be going on my Peter Berry Living with Alzheimer's page. Over the next month, I'm gradually going to not put them on my private page um, because the other page, the Alz uh, Peter Berry Living with Alzheimer's page, is, is being run by others. And I'm finding it so difficult now to to run these pages and to do these things and to put these videos up myself. I, I'm beginning to, to find that very difficult. So others are managing it for me. So over a period of a month or so, um, they'll only be going up on the Peterberry Living with Alzheimer's. So to please do go to that page if you want to see the videos. Thank you for listening and I'll see you all again next Friday. Bye bye for now.